consider Walter Russell's Opti Energy Generator. One slash is the optic dynamo generator of free energy device. When considering Walter Russell's optic dynamo generator device, it bears similarities to the free energy devices of the Tartarian Empire, evident in surviving structures. The Tartarian Empire is said to have utilized free energy based on unique architecture. The voltage of the optic dynamo generator is generated by the established ether tension, which leads to a variation in the magnetic flux over time, denoted as phi slash t, known as phi divided by t representing the potential value, representing the potential value, ether tension. The voltage is calculated according to Faraday's theory of the ether, which remains valid in electrical science today, despite mainstream science having removed the ether field from electricity. Essentially, the optic dynamo generator consists of two opposing coils, resembling two funnels facing each other. Below are materials that create ether tension. The flow of ether is the inherent dielectric in the material structure, directed by Walter Russell's coil. This maintains a steady potential or voltage across different materials. The remarkable aspect is that the two coil structure in Walter Russell's device resembles the ether field structure of matter. According to Walter Russell, the main constituent of matter is ether condensed in dielectric form. Furthermore, it is ether that serves as the medium for the propagation of induced light. Walter Russell summarizes it as follows. Light does not travel, the speed of light is, in fact, the delay of the induction process in the ether medium. When the ether field, more specifically the dielectric field, is in a state of ether, serving as a medium for the propagation of light inductively, it can be said, matter is frozen light. Walter Russell's theoretical and experimental approach to chemical elements diverged from mainstream science and today's quantum mechanics. Chemical elements are represented in his nine-octave periodic chart of the elements. The Russell periodic chart of the elements states, Periodicity is a characteristic of all phenomena of nature. The nine octaves of the elements of matter manifest the polarization principle of producing dynamic action by extending two equators from a fulcrum point of rest. These two equators arise by gyroscopic action, multiplied centripetally, in four concentrative efforts to an amplitude plane which is 90 degrees from the zero plane of the inert gases. They then descend in four decentrative, depolarizing stages to disappear in their inert gases and again reappear from them in endless cycles throughout eternity. Thus do all bodies appear and disappear, to again reappear, forever. Dr Walter Russell. In general, scientific geniuses like Nikola Tesla, Walter Russell, Charles Proteus Steinmetz, etc., oppose quantum theory and the Rutherford Bohr atomic model. With the nine-octave periodic chart of the elements model, it is clear that matter, from the microscopic, atomic, level to the vast universe, is in motion and cyclic, forever. At the atomic level, with a special coil structure and semiconductor material, a small voltage is generated and maintained at a near-permanent potential difference. However, the voltage generated is relatively small but still considered sufficient to supply input to another free energy device. If you have heard of a free energy transformer, Walter Russell's optic dynamo generator can provide input to a free energy transformer, commonly known as the Tesla transformer or Tesla coil, which can generate free energy with improvements. 2 slash the technology of, in fact, the technology of generating high voltage and putting free energy into the transmission system. Walter Russell's free energy generator is the result of testing a theoretical model of matter in the form of ether, known as the theory of nine octave periodic chart of the elements. If Walter Russell's generator, the optic dynamo generator, actually worked, it would solidify the atomic model of the elements in the ether field. The ether field theory has been used by many scientists before, including Nikola Tesla, who was the creator of the 20th century. However, this theory has been rather this theory has been rather absurdly dismissed in scientific academia, mainly because the Mitchelson-Morley experiment was a famous failure to confirm the existence of ether and also failed to remove ether. In addition, Einstein's theory of relativity, based on Poincaré and Lorentz's transformations, relies on a mathematical conjecture that postulates the theory of relativity. It is evident that these axioms are only presuppositions that do not match reality. In general, the ether field theory has never been logically dismissed. Nikola Tesla's high voltage generation technology is based on voltage transients of impedance. It is a method to excite a system of elastic atomic level matter structures, creating resistance to transient voltages. The transient voltage can also be explained differently, based on a rapidly changing time variable, where the value of the denominator, symbol T, gradually approaches zero, causing the entire fraction to approach infinity. This is a mathematical explanation that requires defining some other concepts. 
Although the Walter Russell hypothesis creates a free energy generator, a high voltage is required for the distribution and transmission of electricity. Therefore, when considering the practical application on a large scale, Walter Russell's optic dynamo generator remains merely a device for the confirmation of the theory of matter in the nine-octave periodic chart of the elements.